Hey everyone, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about the first AI-powered code editor. This editor can help you build software faster than ever before. I'm sure you're familiar with the challenges of coding. It can be time-consuming, error-prone, and frustrating. But what if there was a way to make coding easier? What if there was an AI that could help you write code faster and more accurately? Well, that's where AI-powered code editors come in. These editors use AI to help you with everything from code completion to debugging. They can even generate code for you, so you don't have to write it yourself. So, if you're looking for a way to make coding easier, then an AI-powered code editor is definitely worth checking out. These editors can help you save time, reduce errors, and improve your productivity. In this video, I'll show you how to download and use first AI-powered code editor, Cursored. I'll also give you some tips on how to get the most out of it. So, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, I encourage you to watch this entire video and learn more about Cursor. Let's get started. First, you go to Cursor GitHub page link available in the description. Cursor, an editor made for programming with AI. Cursor features. It's early days, but right now, Cursor can help you with a few things. Chat, talk with a chat GPT-like bot that can see your file, terminal, and entire repo. Edit, ask the AI to change a block of code, see an inline diff of the edits. Debug, hover over linter errors to auto-fix them. Write, generate entire code bases from short English descriptions. You use these features and build entire software fast and easy way. Let's move to official Cursor website and download Cursor. The AI First Code Editor Build software faster in an editor designed for pair programming with AI. Click Download tab and download Cursor if you use Windows. And if you use another OS then click Other tab and download now. For example, if you use Mac then download Mac version and if you use Linux then download Linux version. I currently use Windows, then download Windows version. My Windows version downloaded successfully. Learn some cursor feature, for example. You use any extensions and themes, just one-click migration. And keep your codes locally. Chat with your projects and ask questions related to your code base and search any documents and mores. Edit any existing codes and generate more codes from scratch. And fix your code bugs and debug errors. So let's move to pricing features. You have two options. First you buy any project membership plan and another option you use your own OpenAI API key and use Cursor. In my case, I use my own API key and use Cursor. And if you host your server then contact over Cursor team and discuss our pricing plans. I open my downloaded Cursor file and install and run in my system. Run now. My cursor code editor install and open now, so let's first open any folder or project. I open a blank folder. Next, I go to my setting tab and set up my OpenAI API key. If you buy any membership then you sign in and connect with your account. Another option, you input your own OpenAI API key. So I create a new OpenAI API key and use now. So I go to my OpenAI dashboard and create new OpenAI API key. Copy this API key and paste in my setting tab. and activate API key tab and use now. And if you use membership then deactivate your API key tab. 
Next select your model, if you access GPT-4, then select GPT-4 otherwise use default GPT-3.5 turbo model. Next you import your VS Code settings and extension using Start Import tab. Next, if you use Azure API, then input your Azure API key here. Save your settings and close this tab. Next open your chat tab and chat with your AI assistant. Using Ctrl plus L and open chat tab. You can see your chat tab here. You ask anything and give instruction for your code. For example, I create a new Next.js project and edit some codes, so I input create a latest Next.js project. To create a new Next.js project you use this command and steps and create now. First open your terminal and next run this following command. So I copy this command. I go to View tab and open a terminal. And copy this command and paste in my terminal. Input my project names and project requirements and create my project. My new Next.js project created now. So let's move to Next Up folder and run this project using npm run dev. Open your localhost URL in your browser and see your new created project. My new project runs successfully. Next, I will update this project codes using AI. First, I will go to my app directory and open my page file and edit this home page code. And generate new codes based upon my instruction. For example, I select this UI code and create new header section for my web app, this only demo purpose. I will show you how to create code for your use case. First, go to my page file and select all main code. In this code editor, you have two different type of option. First, you create code in chat tab and paste in your file and another option you create code directly in your file. For example, I select this code and create now. First select code and open your instruction tab using Ctrl plus K and you see this type of instruction tab here. So I input my instruction here and create code. For example, I input. Remove this code and create a header for my web app with app title name auto GPT tutorials and navigation bar and enter now. You can see your new created code here. So you input Ctrl plus Y and give permission for edit or remove extra code in your file. So I input Ctrl plus Y and change my entire file code now. Save your file and run in your browser. But I face a issue. So I copy my error and paste in my chat tab. and my assistant create new code for me. So I copy new code and paste in my file. And read your error details, 
and learn why you get this error. After paste code in your file, save and run in your browser. And you can see your new created header with your title and navigation bar. Next, create a footer section. So go to your chat section and give instruction now. And I input create a sticky footer with app title, navigation bar and social media links in bottom and enter now. my new create code here. So I copy this entire code and paste in my file and run now. And you can see my new create header and footer section with my social media links. Next we'll create my main page content. Create my app main content for AI-powered code editor and IDE with some icons and features, and enter now. My new created main contents here, so I copy this code and paste in my main content section and save and run my code. And you can see my new created main content here. So can easy create any type of code using this new AI powered code editor. Very soon, we are creating an entire application code using this AI code editor. Conclusion That's all for this video. I hope you learned something new about Cod Actor and how to use it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'd also like to thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips on AI-powered code editors. Thanks again for watching.